They say that if you melt graphite in liquid iron, temper it, and then add acid, diamonds might appear. To test that myth, Grant placed graphite and iron in a furnace, heated it to 1400 degrees, and held the mix for 20 minutes. Once it cooled, he poured in concentrated hydrochloric acid. As soon as all the iron dissolved, they checked for diamonds. None were found. Meanwhile, Carrie coated charcoal briquettes with 100 grams of peanut butter. The myth claimed they should go in the microwave for an hour in 10 minute intervals. But after destroying three bowls and two microwaves, all she had left was burnt peanut butter and charcoal, no diamonds. Corey tried a more scientific approach. He placed graphite, ferric nitrate, and a tiny seed diamond into a pressure cooker. He left it there for three days. Even then, the diamond never grew. For the final test, they sealed graphite, cobalt, and other chemicals inside a metal cylinder, set it into a barrel of explosives, and detonated it. The idea was to instantly recreate the extreme heat and pressure that formed diamonds. Afterward, they opened the cylinder and cleaned the contents with chemicals. Diamonds did appear, but only cheap industrial-grade ones. In the end, the myth of making diamonds at home was busted.